Hello, I'm Satoshi Nishimura uh, from the University of Aizu. Today, I would like to present my recent work entitled Grid Induced Bounding Volume Hierarchy uh, for Ray Tracing Dynamic Scenes. Uh, first of all, uh, let me talk about my memories with Professor Kuni. When I was a graduate student, Professor Kuni was my thesis advisor. He guided me to work on parallel processing for computer graphics, and I'm still continuing research on that topic. After that, uh, we worked together at the University of Aizu uh, when he was uh, president. Uh, when I was a master student, uh, I had the first presentation at the international conference. Uh, this is uh, proceedings of the conference. At that time, I was so nervous that the professor supported me sweetly. Uh, this picture uh, was shot on the way to the conference. Uh, he knew one of the plane crew and uh, it was a good era, so, uh, so we could enter to the cockpit. In the Professor Kuni's laboratory, uh, there were a variety of uh, excellent computers, including parallel processors. And in addition, uh, we developed our own machine, uh, handmade machine, uh, named VC1. To build this machine, uh, Professor Kuni uh, kindly negotiated with the company and uh, obtained lots of research, research, research budget. The work on VC1 is presented at SIGGRAPH 96. Okay, uh, let me go back to today's research topic. Uh, it is related to the acceleration of ray tracing. Uh, with bounding volume hierarchy. Ray tracing is, uh, as you know, uh, able to create uh, realistic images. Uh, but for practical use, uh, a good acceleration method uh, for intersection search is essential. The bounding volume hierarchy is today's most common method. Uh, it makes groups of primitives and constructs a hierarchy uh, among them. Uh, with an appropriate acceleration structure, uh, ray tracing could be faster than polygon rendering uh, because ray tracing cost is sublinear to the total number of primitives. And therefore, uh, ray tracing could be a good alternative uh, for interactive applications. The tree of bounding volume hierarchy is created from scene data as a pre-computation. For static scenes, that is scenes without moving objects, uh, many excellent methods are proposed. They are classified into two categories. Uh, one is top-down approach and the other is bottom-up approach. In top-down approaches, uh, set of primitive is partitioned into two subsets uh, by setting a split plane and classifying based on the position of centroids of uh, primitives. This dividing process is recursively continued. Depending on how we find the split planes, uh, there are some variations. Uh, the beam surface area Surface area heuristic approach uh, uses primitive beams uh, for finding split planes. This method is uh, kind of today's standard algorithm. LBVH uh, uses median split planes. Uh, it enables us faster construction, uh, but the tree quality is a little bit lower. Uh, more recently, a bottom-up approach uh, using agglomerative clustering uh, is proposed. For GPU implementation, uh, it is considered that this approach is more efficient. 
Uh, in this approach, uh, starting from uh, individual primitives, uh, a pair of primitives that are cross each, each other are merged into a cluster. Such clusters are further merged into larger clusters, and finally, the hierarchy of clusters is constructed. Comparing to static scene cases, VVH construction methods for dynamic scenes are not well established yet. Dynamic scenes contains uh, object moves, uh, deformations, and object additions and deletions. The simplest approach is frame-wise rebuilding, uh, that is rebuilding the whole VVH tree for every frame. This method is flexible uh, in the sense that any type of scene modification is acceptable and stable uh, in the sense that the frame rate is constant as much as possible. Uh, but this method suffers from high tree construction cost. Uh, let me show an example. Uh, this scene contains over 10 million polygons uh, but moving polygons are less than 1% of them. For this type of scenes, uh, rebuilding approach is very inefficient. So another approach for dynamic scenes is proposed. Uh, there is a method called refitting uh, that adjusts uh, positions and the sizes of the bounding volumes in response to object moves. This method always keeps the, the same tree structure, uh, so sometimes the structure is very far from the ideal one. As a result, uh, degradation of tree quality is observed, uh, which leads to longer tracing time. There are some methods for recovering tree quality occasionally, uh, but the stability of the performance is sacrificed. So, I propose a new method for constructing BVH trees for dynamic scenes. The new method updates BVH trees in order m log n time, uh, which is similar to the fitting approach. Uh, here, M is the number of scene modifications, uh, that is, primitive insertions or deletions. M is the total number of primitives. Uh, since frame-wise rebuilding uh, requires M log N time, uh, so the new method is much advantageous. And the remarkable, remarkable point is that uh, there is no degradation of tree quality, uh, by which I mean uh, generated trees are always the same as the ones by frame-wise rebuilding. So there is no problem on the stability of performance. The new method is named Grid-Induced Bounding Volume Hierarchy, or GBVH for short. Now let me describe the overview of the method. The method uses two different types of trees, uh, grid tree and BVH tree. Uh, during an animation, uh, both of the trees stay in memory. The grid tree uh, represents uh, the structure of hierarchical grids. Let us see uh, an example. So in this scene, uh, we have totally seven primitives. Uh, this is two-dimensional analogy, and the actual scene is 3D. The scene space is first divided into 4x4 four four cells, uh, forming a top-level grid. Since uh, these two cells uh, contains many primitives, so each of them is further divided into 4x4 four four, uh, cells. The grid tree for this example is shown here. Each grid node represents a grid, and each leaf node contains a set of primitives, but in this example, single primitive. The VVH tree 
uh, is constructed from the Greek tree uh, by node by node by node translation. Uh, each grid node in the grid tree uh, corresponds to a tree uh, which is a part of the VH tree. In ray tracing phase, uh, intersection calculation is accelerated uh, using this VH uh, tree. Note that uh, grid tree is easily modifiable uh, during animations. The translation from the grid tree to the BVH tree is explained in this slide. The key point is that uh, we only translate the grid node that is touched in the scene modification. Such grid node is called dirty node. The translation of each dirty node to, to, to treelet is independent of others, and thus parallel processing can be applied. As for the algorithm for generating each treelet, I tried several different methods, but agglomerative, uh, agglomerative clustering uh, was the best. Uh, now let me talk about evaluation results. Uh, first, uh, let us look at the uh, static scene performance. Uh, this data is measured with a CPU uh, with eight threads. The board phase number uh, shows the best results. Uh, only a part of scenes are shown here, so uh, please see the paper for other scenes. Uh, to summarize the result, result uh, the tracing speed uh, that shows the quality of tree, uh, it is almost competitive. Uh, to the Bing SAH method, uh, which is the today's baseline method. Uh, for large scale scenes like power plant, uh, the trace speed uh, is somewhat lower than uh, Bing SAH, but the uh, tree build time is much faster and therefore the total time is shorter. Next, uh, let us see the result for dynamic scenes. Uh, three typical cases are compared, uh, being SAH uh, with reflecting and LBVH with uh, frame-wise rebuilding and uh, the proposed method. Uh, looking at the total time, uh, which is a, a time for generating an animation, uh, the winner uh, was proposed method for all the scenes. Uh, in the fairly scene, uh, the percentage of removing primitive uh, is high, and therefore the rebuilding approach uh, should have an edge. But uh, GBBH has slightly better uh, total performance. Uh, this is because uh, uh, trace speed uh, is uh, uh, faster than LBBH. So uh, in the second and the third scene, uh, the defeating approach uh, worked uh, well, but uh, had lower total performance. Uh, because uh, uh, the trace speed is low uh, in kitchen scene, and uh, the tree construction time is high in power plant scene. Uh, now I would like to close my talk. The GBVH method is considered as a good alternative uh, for handling dynamic scenes. Uh, it requires a lower tree uh, update cost for dynamic scenes with small modifications. And there is no performance instability uh, found in the refitting approach. Currently, the method is evaluated only with CPUs. Uh, in the future, GPU implementation uh, is of course necessary. In addition, uh, we would like to investigate the possibility of enhancing tree quality uh, by changing grid resolution adaptively. That's all for my presentation. Uh, thank you for your attention.